current and never events. Note, a never event in American healthcare is an adverse event that is identifiable, preventable, and consequential in the life and health of the patient. Witness the moment of personhood. Parse it from the moment of murder. Another murdered woman. It's okay because she lived a life. It's okay because she was used. It's okay because she was a person, but not now. Protect a fertilized egg because you can't rape it. Yet. The murder here unspoken, now chalked up to a tragedy. At least she didn't die in a mass shooting. Then she might have seen the gun. But the invisible scalpel, the vacated doctors, their vanishing expertise, the reason for her death, she won't see. An avoidable murder. She might know. Women's intuition, maternal instinct, survival impulse. Desecrating motherhood by killing mothers in the name of the embryo. How many times can a baby be used against its mother? Late pregnancy complications. A fetal heartbeat now a death knell for the mother, even if the baby has no chance at life. Late pregnancy complications. Overlooking a woman's personhood and any sustained harm. Possible lost limbs. Hello, 15-year-old post-row activist. Pregnancy is not always sunshine and roses. Personhood, an entwined thing. Women who've carried babies know. Listen to Adrian Rich. Looking under the hood of a person and then saying there's no person up there to save is throwing the mother out with the bathwater. What defines personhood, the hood or the person? A hood that doesn't hold the gun but points out who should be shot, then claims no responsibility. Let's save every fertilization under one condition. For each new birth, let's replace a prominent male citizen. Forced sacrifice is all the rage, you know. Save the fertilized egg, and down goes Mitch McConnell. Boom, another baby. Bye-bye, Trump. Congratulations, it's a boy. Matt Gates fades away. By all means, give new youth a try. Statistically, it might not be worse.